Hey everyone, welcome back to our practice recap for Dale Hollow Lake. This is stop number three of the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. And I've got day one off. Uh, day Group A is out there right now. They're getting ready to blast off here in a few minutes. Should be an interesting day. You know, we've had bluebird, sunny conditions for the majority of practice relatively flat and now we've got as you guys can see storms rolling in it's going to rain for like the next three days straight be very windy it probably probably will actually make fishing even better uh, there's the chance that you've got some people that might struggle based on the wind conditions and it just making it harder for them to position the boat if they're fishing for some of those deep suspended fish uh, using you know forward facing sonar and that type of thing uh, but I also think it's going to really just make the fish bite in general. So it should be interesting to see what the weights are going to be. I'm going to be watching them shortly here. I'm actually getting ready to head out. Uh, I got to go do some Bridgeford promos, get a few things done, come back, get ready to go for tomorrow. Uh, you know, I got a lot of the rods rigged, rigged and ready to roll based on the conditions that we're going to have. I didn't want to be doing it in the rain, so I did it last night. And we're going to be keeping it simple, guys. Uh, Man, I wish I could do one of these for you guys and say, practice was great. I'm catching them everywhere. The reality is it was another tough practice. I came here with the mindset that I was going to really concentrate on forward-facing sonar. I've heard how Dale Hollow Lake is kind of the mecca for it right now. Lots and lots of suspended fish. Uh, lots of big fish, three to four pound, both largemouth and smallmouth, the occasional spotted bass. But this is a place where supposedly the fish get out and just roam. And I did that for quite some time and did not do well at all. Did not catch them to the point where I felt like I found any area where I had a group of fish. I have been seeing a lot of fish, but they're not getting a lot of good, uh, good interaction from them. The uh, bite ratio is not good at all. So to me, that wasn't great. I kind of switched things up then the, I guess you'd say the second half of practice and just wanted to see if I could catch them you know, going down the bank, doing uh, a lot of what I like to do. And I definitely am able to get some bites doing that. Uh, the problem with it is, again, it's not like, you know, I kind of have a pattern, but it's not like I, I just have a spot I can run to and catch a fish. I pretty much got to run a lot of it. And I feel like I can consistently catch fish here and there. The size is going to be a little different. If you're out deep catching them, you're probably averaging three plus pounds. If you're beating the bank, you got to go through a lot of little fish to catch a keeper. Uh, I have seen a couple of decent fish, you know, three and a half to maybe four pound class fish. Uh, so we'll see, you know, the number of scorable bites, like it, it feels like practice has been really tough. You know, I had a decent number of scorable bites, probably 12 or 15 the first day. Uh, day two was not good. Uh, I'm going to say probably about five. And then yesterday, you know, I fished uh, till about one, but I did what... I was doing, uh, you know, overall, I guess, and, you know, had another seven or eight bites. So I, I really don't know what to expect. We're going to go fishing. We're going to put our head down. We're going to uh, cover a lot of water. I feel like that's going to be key, and we're going to fish the conditions. You know, we today is supposed to be rain all day. Tomorrow is supposed to be rain most of the day with a little intermittent breaks, but I really feel like trying to mix in some windblown points, trying to mix in just some stuff that maybe didn't hold fish in practice just based on the conditions. Flat, calm, sunny conditions changes a lot versus, you know, what we got rolling in right now. I mean, the flag in the farm across the street is standing straight up. I'm talking behind my car right now because I'm worried that you're not going to be able to hear me. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see what happens. You know, the I don't know what the expectation is. You know, I would love to say, you know, that obviously I think the goal is always five fish per period. So, you know, that's 15 total fish. I think that's a tall order to ask in this one. Uh, I think from a weight standpoint, you're probably going to be looking at weights similar to Toledo Bend. So probably, you know, probably 24 pounds a day to get paid probably 40 pounds 45 pounds to make the top 10 and i think i think there's a couple of guys that are probably just smashing them like just smashing them uh, you know i'm rooming with a couple of really good live scope fishermen and uh you know they're chomping at the bit to get out there so 
I do think to win, you're going to see, you know, I think you'll see guys putting up over 100 pounds because the average size fish they're catching out deep is really good. You know, so if they can catch, uh, I think there's potential you're going to have guys catching 30, 30 fish and they're averaging over three pounds. So that's over 100 pounds. And I do think come tournament time uh, or final day, I think that, you know, you're going to see guys catching over 100 pounds. The only other thing I'll say is the conditions really have been changing. I do feel like uh, even though we've got storms and rain coming, the uh, the reality is it's warm. I mean, it's like in the 60s probably right now, low 60s. So from that standpoint, the first couple of days we were here, it was frost on the boats. And now we're going to have a week straight where the high temps are only in the 60s, uh, maybe 70 degrees, but the low temps are still right around 60. And based on the few days of practice, I do feel like there were more fish showing up shallow. So there could be a pretty good transition of fish moving shallow if that happens, which I'm hoping happens uh, and I think is happening that will help me and it could potentially hurt some of the guys offshore. I don't know that it'll hurt them that much, but I think it, I think it could help the guys on the bank better than the guys offshore. So we'll find out. Uh, you'll probably be watching this tonight. So we'll see how day one would have gone and I'll be fishing tomorrow. So wish me luck guys. Thank you for watching. I continue to appreciate the support that you give me on a daily basis. I got to go head out and get, uh, get a couple things taken care of and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.